I'm with Spencer, who's teaching with me on Bridge TV online education platform. Um, so you want to introduce yourself to our sure. viewers? So hi everyone, I'm Spencer. I'm teaching classes with Bridge TV online. Um, I've got two of my own lectures up now, and together we have a class every Wednesday and Friday morning. So you want to um, check that out as well? Yeah, it's All really right. fun, right? <laughs> so, okay, uh, without further ado then, uh, let's talk about their names. First of all, Ailey, mm -hmm. the R&B singer. So Ailey, is that, is that really a common name in the States? Definitely not. No? Um, I've never met an Ailey. Mm. Um, it reminds me of Ellie which I've also met a lot of Ellie's in Korea, but not in the United States. No. So this kind of sound, Ailey, Ellie, it sounds like an English name. It is an English name, obviously, but it's just not a common name. Um, much more common would be Haley. Haley. Haley, with yeah, the H in Yeah, I know a lot of, of Haley's. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a way more common English name in the United States. Mm -hmm. So Ailey is pretty unique, actually. Mm -hmm. I've never met an Ailey. Interesting, because she's from North America. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if she's from Canada or the United States, but is she from Canada? I'm not sure. Okay, <laughs> yes, I know her music, but that. not where she's from. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So um, I know this is Korean name, uh -huh. but I just included it because it also sounds like an American name. Su Z, but it's with Z, uh -huh. <laughs> the letter Z. Su Z. Right. Suzy Bae. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Suzy? Yeah. Um, a lot of Korean women I have met are named Susie. Mm. Um, especially if they grew up in the United States or Canada, but their parents are from Korea. Mm. It's a very common name to select. I it's think. like Hannah. Right? Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. Hannah. So it works both ways, right? Hannah, Hannah, right, Susie, right. Suji. Mm -hmm. So it's very versatile. But as for like Western families that are not Korean, mm. um, Susie is very uncommon. It's kind of an old fashioned name. Yeah. Very old fashioned. Mm -hmm. So no one else is named Susie except for like women who are Korean. Basically, I've never met another Susie. Mm. Interesting. Mm. It's like a granny's name. <laughs> yeah, it's like a granny's name. But um, yeah, and the spelling could be like S U Z Y, S U Z I E, S U S Y, or ending I E. So there's a lot of various ways to spell it, but. Anyway, it's quite old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. Here in Korea, though, it's a pretty common name. Mm -hmm. Like any female names that end with G is mm -hmm. very common. Yeah. Min G, mm -hmm. Su G, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So next up, we have Leah mm -hmm. from Itzy. Mm -hmm. Leah's a nice name. I like this name, although I've never really heard it before mm -hmm. in the United States. Um, it's quite special and unique. But again, it's nice and short, so it's memorable, uh -huh. right? You can remember it easily, um, it's easy to pronounce. It seems like it crosses both languages, mm -hmm. right? Again, it's like Korean, but it also works in English. Yeah. So it's a versatile name. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like this name. Okay, um, so Momo, I'm, I know it's not an English name, yeah, definitely. but it's not a Korean name either. Mm -hmm. So, Momo from Twice, Momo. Yeah. When I hear Momo, mm. I think of, first of all, a name of a pet. A pet? <laughs> like you would call your dog Momo, like, Momo, come here! <laughs> it feels like this. So it's it's a cute name. Yeah. Um, I've never met a person named Momo, but I've met dogs and cats named Momo mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. But it seems kind of like it's a name that might be Japanese or mm -hmm. trying to sound Japanese. Mm -hmm. But regardless, it sounds cute. I think that's the image that they right. want for her, so. Mm -hmm. All right, next up we have Boa. Mm -hmm. Boa from SM Entertainment. Mm -hmm. So I think of two things. Mm -hmm. I think of a feather boa, mm -hmm. which is like that giant thing you wear on your neck when you're like a performer, mm -hmm. right? A singer or a dancer. Yeah. Or I think of a boa constrictor, the mm -hmm. giant snake. Yes. So I don't think of an English name for a woman. Mm -hmm. um, instead, I think of these two random things. Mm -hmm. 
But again, I think it's a good name because it's really short mm -hmm. um, and it's easy to pronounce in Korean and in English and probably in other languages as well. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a good selection, although not an English name. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we have now members from Red Velvet. First mm -hmm. up, we have Irene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the name Irene. And Irene is kind of a modern name. Like more and more young girls and maybe even babies mm -hmm. would be named Irene in the United States. Um, yeah, it's one of those names that's becoming popular, but it used to be popular in the past as well. So it's old fashioned, but it's making a comeback. Yeah, everything always new again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's so. trendy again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What about Joy? Mm -hmm. Is that a common name in the States? Joy. It's not very common. So I've met some Joys and some Joyces. Joyce. Yeah, Joyce. Um, that's actually my middle name, oh, <laughs> it's yeah. Joyce. Mm -hmm. It's a little old fashioned. Uh, in the case of Joy, Again, I feel this is a name that a lot of Korean people have mm -hmm. because it's versatile, yeah. but it's not a name a lot of native English speakers have in the United States, mm -hmm. um, but it's easy to pronounce, right? Yeah. And it kind of has a bright feeling, right? Like joy, like mm -hmm. happiness. Yeah. It's kind of a vibe, so. Okay, um, and Wendy. Mm -hmm. It just reminds me of the hamburger place. Oh, Wendy's. really? <laughs> Wendy's. Oh, okay. For me, when I hear Wendy, I think of Peter Pan. Oh. It's a very classic name. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of a fan of this name. And just like Irene, it's old fashioned, but I see it making a comeback. More and more young girls are named Wendy. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's lovely. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. As she is. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, Wendy's, I didn't think about that, mm -hmm. actually, but that's true, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so uh, let's talk about members from Blackpink. Mm -hmm. uh, Blackpink, Jenny from Blackpink. Mm -hmm. Jenny, mm -hmm. it's kind of a cute name for a young girl, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a common name in the United States, especially as a nickname mm -hmm. uh, for the longer name Jennifer. Jennifer. Right, if your name is Jennifer, you might be Jenny or Jen mm -hmm. or some other nickname like that. So it's young, it's not old fashioned, right? Yeah. And it's easy to pronounce again. It's an English name for sure. What about Lisa? Mm -hmm. Lisa is a little less common. Mm -hmm. um, when I hear Lisa, the most famous Lisa I can think of is Lisa Simpson. So there, are, or yeah, there are not a lot of like famous Lisas, um, and it's a little bit of an older name. Right. I would say like 1980, mm -hmm. there were more Lisas than there are now, mm -hmm. um, but it's not too old fashioned. And again, it's nice and short, and yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Another member, so Rose, it's not mm -hmm. Rose, it's Rose. Mm -hmm. What do you think about her name? So. I like her name, but it also confuses me because I want to say Rose mm -hmm. <laughs> when I see the name. Yeah. Um, Rose, I think it's like of. French. Yeah, it's, Rose. <laughs> it's very French, and I think of it as like a kind of wine. Uh, like Rose Champagne uh -huh. is like that pink colored champagne. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of French, sophisticated, very feminine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it suits her. Yeah. I think definitely it suits her, but it's not a name used in the United States. Even the name Rose is not really used in the United States. A little old fashioned. Right. A little bit. So next up we have Ugi from G Idol. Mm -hmm. um, so actually her name is spelled Y-U-Q-I, but that is pronounced Ugi. What do you think? Ugi? She's from China though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is a Chinese name or not, but I think the romanization, the English spelling of the name is really confusing. Mm -hmm. um, 
I don't know why they chose to write it this way. When I see the name Y-U-Q-I, mm. I would say like Yuki or Yuki or some other sound like that. Right. I would never think to call her Ugi. No. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think it sounds like Chinese to me. Yeah, maybe. Also, we have uh, Sandara Park mm -hmm. from 21, a mm -hmm. uh, band that disbanded, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But they were really, really big uh, in the early 2010s. Uh, so it's not like Sandra, it's like Sandara. Mm -hmm. There's a A, mm -hmm. <laughs> the letter A mm -hmm. in the middle. Sandara Park. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, so 2NE1 is one of those groups that had some fame in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've heard her name before by English speakers and everyone says Sandra. Right. I've never heard Sandra. Uh -huh. um, it just, it's too many ah sounds, I think. So right, people right. just yeah. compress it. Sandra. <laughs> so they just say Sandra Park. Um, mm -hmm. And I think even sometimes they write her name like that. So it's S-A-N-D-R-A. They skip the A because yeah. they think, oh, it's Sandra, which Sandra is a common name. Mm -hmm. But Sandra, I've never yeah, heard that right? name before. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that name before. Uh, so that's all the names that we have here. Why do you think like K-pop artists try to call themselves uh, by these English names? Mm. I mean, it's like the Korean wave, mm -hmm. right? So more and more, it's not just the Korean market, it's the global market. Yeah. So as, as far as I know, they also do promotions in other countries like nearby Japan, China, and even as far as the United States, right? Um, they go and perform on talk shows, things like this. So more and more, they need to have a more global name. Yeah. So these kinds of global names take a little bit from Korean, a little bit from English or from other languages. Mm -hmm. And then it makes them more marketable, yeah. I think. Yeah, and you know, uh, to be famous abroad, mm -hmm. your name should be easy to pronounce, right. <laughs> probably. Um, right, that's why it's all, all of these names are basically one or two syllables. Right. Right. Needs to remember. Right. J, mm -hmm. Henry, Leah. They're so short. Um, mm -hmm. When English names can be quite long, many syllables. Yeah, I can see where their priority is. Hope you guys like this video. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And also leave a lot of comments. Do we miss someone that you like to know about more? Uh, just any comments about this video? All right. So uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Three. Other, Other side. side. 지금 바로 www.bridgetelevision.com korea에 방문해 보세요. 매일 아침 고급 학습자들을 위한 뉴스 수업. 영어 실력과 무관하게 누구나 원어민스러운 발음을 낼수 있는 발음 트레이닝 수업. 그리고 저와 스펜서 선생님이 함께 하고 있는 턱턱 생활 회화. 지금 수강 신청 진행 중입니다. 샘플 강의도 직접 들어보실 수 있으니까요. 어떤 강의인지. 한번 알아보세요. www.bridgetelevisionkorea.com 지금 바로 방문해 보세요.